Are nature ways in the way of nature? The main focus of this Eureka project is to investigate how different characteristics of Singapore's nature ways affect their ability to support local pollinator biodiversity. Since the 1800s, Singapore's primary rainforest habitats have undergone massive deforestation in favour of urban development. Today, our forests are highly isolated and fragmented. To alleviate this, the National Parks Board has introduced nature ways since 1992. These are nature corridors set up around the island with the purpose of connecting our green spaces and thus facilitating the movement of fauna between them. They are planted with vegetation to mimic the natural forest canopy. However, these nature ways differ widely in their characteristics, including connectivity, degree of urbanization, proportion of surrounding natural areas, and the variety of flora that are planted. These differences can greatly affect your individual success of attracting invertebrate pollinator species. We hypothesize that nature ways with higher invertebrate pollinator biodiversity and overall success have more connections, less urbanized surroundings, more peripheral natural areas, and higher flora diversity. The methodology consisted of three phases. The first phase was site selection. 58 500 meter transects were identified island wide and their characteristics were recorded. The second phase was field work consisting of two parts. Firstly, the 500 meter transects were walked for 15 minutes and surveyed for Lepidoptera. Secondly, Flora along 100 meter stretches of these 500 meter transects were closely surveyed for any invertebrate pollinator interactions. The third and final phase was data analysis using R and ARC GIS. A bipartite plot of plant pollinator interactions was created. Important findings include that Hymenoptera and Lepidoptera may have different nectaring preferences, and the transects differed in number of interactions recorded, alluding to individual quality. Some wildflower species contributed greatly to the overall number of interactions. There was a negative correlation between degree of urbanization and biodiversity. Highly urban sites also tended to lack flora biodiversity, leading to lower visitations. For connectivity, no major differences were observed between the different classifications except for level 5 connectivity, which refers to sites where there is already significant overlap with existing green spaces. The higher biodiversity observed may be due to spillover effects. We recommend that weeding schedules be re-examined to strike a balance between maintenance and wildflower growth. More successful ornamental plants can be planted along nature ways, and some nature ways are in need of major revamping. <coughs> Thank you for watching.